We expect to ship our next major update, version 20.1, in May 2020. Among new WPF-specific features we'll include in this update is dynamic appointment and time region filtering support for our WPF scheduler control. Before I get started, a quick note about dynamic appointment and time region filtering. With our WPF scheduler, you can define filter criteria in XAML or code behind by using criteria syntax. Filter appointment and filter time region events allow you to describe custom filtering logic as needed. In this video, I'll focus on appointment and time region filtering via the controls user interface. Specifically, I'll show you how to use our custom filter editor and integrated filter elements panel to search for individual appointment and event data within a schedule. As you might expect, you can easily bind the scheduler control to our filter editor or filter elements panel to enable dynamic filtering within your WPF app. I'll be using our filtering demo for this tutorial. You can access this demo by installing our version 20.1 update once it officially ships in May. This particular demo displays a schedule for a fictitious medical practice. As you can see, events are organized by individual resource, in this instance, by physicians. Though this isn't a version 20.1 feature, I want to quickly mention our scheduler's resource navigation UI element. The DevExpress resource navigator was designed to simplify data management within the scheduler control and to empower your app with runtime customization capabilities. The resource navigator allows end users to manage the visibility of individual resources within a schedule. It also allows users to rename resources or delete resources on the fly. The good news, you don't have to write complex code to enable this feature. We've made integration super easy. Okay, now that I've explained our resource navigator, let me move on to version 20.1 related functionality, dynamic appointment, and time region filtering. As I mentioned earlier, our WPF scheduler ships with a straightforward API to filter appointment information in code by defining filter criteria or handling individual events. I'll demonstrate how you can filter data in code in a future video. For now, let me show you how filter-related UI elements work together in this sample app. In this demo, our scheduler control is connected to both our advanced filter editor and our filter elements panel. I can use the filter elements panel located below our resource navigator to filter appointment and event data against the location and payment field. By default, this app displays all appointment data for all resources. Let's assume I only want to display physician appointments at the hospice. To apply this filter, I would navigate to the location list and check hospice to apply my filter. If I wanted to display appointments at both the hospice and the hospital, I'd check both hospice and hospital. That's it. Once you've hooked up the scheduler to the filter elements panel, you can enable filtering for any field associated with the schedule. It's really as simple as that. You have total control over the fields used for data filtering. As you can see in this sample app, I can also filter against the payment field. I can view all payment categories or filter by values such as overdue. Now, if your end users require advanced filtering options and more fine-grained control over filter operations, you can also connect the DevExpress WPF scheduler control to our filter editor. With the filter editor, you can give end users the ability to create advanced filter criteria via its intuitive interface. Let me show you how our advanced filter editor works. First, I'll call the filter editor. Once on screen, I simply press the plus symbol to generate my initial filter condition. I can refine this criteria or add additional criteria as needed. A quick note, you can define the available fields list for the filter editor in XAML. You can use any appointment related field or use any custom field associated with the scheduler. Let me show you how this works. I'll change the appointment field to payment. Let's go ahead and select appointments with overdue payments. Then I'll navigate to the patient filter condition and select Andrew Fuller. With my conditions built, now I'll apply this filter. And voila, my schedule is now filtered by appointments with an overdue payment status for patient Andrew Fuller. Yes, it is really as simple as I've shown you here. With version 20.1, you can use our WPF scheduler's built-in UI elements to introduce intuitive filtering to your next WPF app. And that's it for this video. 
I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial on the DevExpress WPF scheduler control. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below.